You got to customize your Palamute. There's a dog menu in this game. <laughs> you customize your Palamute before you customize your, um, Palico. They really use Pal twice there. I guess it's the idea, yeah. I can make you not look like Rapide? Because <laughs> it's really distracting. Oh, wow. You can go like African Wild Dog and stuff. Oh, he's got little floppy ears. So you can't really change the body type, but you can change the dog style expression of the head. You can give him closed eyes, you can give him a curly tail. You can give him like German Shepherd colorations. And the funny little floppy ears. So it's definitely like it's definitely like the skin of different dog types, but just stretched over this dog, which is not a dog, really. I don't think there's a type of dog that looks quite like this. It's like akin to a few really tall, lanky ones, like the racer dog. But like that racer dog doesn't have that face and so on. It's so distracting how much this looks like repeat. Like I was gonna if I if if I got, if I didn't get to customize the dog, but I had to name him, I was probably gonna call him Rapide out of almost spite, because that's all I can see when I see this default Monster Hunter dog. It's like it's just Rapide from Tales of Vesperia. Give him a fucking pipe. <laughs> Might as well just give him a pipe. Uh, ooh, it's like a it's like a striped hyena, except for the coloration. Has the Eye scar. Let's see. Coat. These are the fur patterns. You can get the the forehead cross is just built into this one. That's the one with the middle stripe. The piebald coat pattern. I mean, they're all piebald. This one's got little highlights around the eyes. This one's all splotchy, so you can make them. It's the it's the equivalent of like the uh, the calico cat you can set up for your palico, which I had last time. You can probably make the two splotches different colors, and this one makes him look wilder. But he still has the piebald coat pattern on his chest on his chest, so he's not wild. But he's the stripes. I kind of want to look see how hyena he he can get. This is his chest. We have the brightest one of these. Part one. This is the base. Part two and three. Oh, it's his feet and the t highlights and tufts. Okay. Not dark enough. Oh, I probably wanted to go with this uh, this other menu over here, didn't I? A little less saturated. This one's really orangey. That's changing things up a bit. We should be dropping down a menu. This is the highlights. I'm going for the stripes. Good luck spotting the difference between these, huh? No, I think I think my key is to go in <laughs> saved palette, make them teal, the color that my character isn't even anymore. I don't know how to unsave the color. I'm pretty much stuck with that one, I think. So if we turn down the contrast. You can make it darker. But it eventually becomes black, which is too much. Like a four makes it pretty stripey. I think I kind of want the highlights to be basically the same color. I kind of dig them.
That kind of brings it together, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like awkward how much contrast there is in him. If you turn the contrast down a bit by having a darker color as the base, then this, it looks less weird. And then here's his belly. So I made the top of him the fourth one. So the, this one should be like a little lighter maybe, but not all the way down to the lightness that I had it at. Look at him. All right. Clothing, it's just the, the color of this thing on his neck. Yeah. make it a little dis little less distracting for now. It could just be black actually. Or black-ish. It's like a saturated dark dark brown right now. I'm already pretty happy with this. I haven't even seen the actual options for some of this other stuff yet. You can give him different eye colors. They're a little understated. Give him like a nice deep gold. Make his eyes just completely black. Not quite. Ah, there's the eye shapes. He, so he's, he defaults to these like pretty friendly eyes. Okay, so that's it. So these eye shapes come with different irises, basically. Those are pretty normal dog eyes-ish. These are severe. What kind of fits with what I'm doing so far. He just looks really pleased all the time. A little worrying. I'd be a little worried about having just a them just being completely blind the whole time as we're sprinting through the woods but the uh, implication is not supposed to be that there's the uh, really big curious friendly eyes I'm a little sad I'd be a little sad about this dog going into combat which is what's gonna happen <laughs> but look how fuck look at look at how precious he is the eye scar the dog that has seen some shit which is otherwise yeah he has the default eye otherwise though so it's not like the severity of this. This does really work though, even though it's vaguely off-putting because it looks hostile. It's fine. All dogs are front. Oh, what's going on there? Is the idea that it's? I don't. Ah, oh, it's really alien. <laughs> it's like it's very it's weirdly off-putting, with no irises or anything. <laughs> I love the extreme of how happy this one looks and how severe this one looks. The scar is a little tempting just because it's a neat detail. But who wants to have a, a hurt dog? I mean, yes, it's great to adopt. Uh, it's great to adopt dogs like Kiki and all that. But like, just creating a hurt dog <laughs> mean, seems mean. <laughs> uh, I'm really torn between these three eyes. It might be a little funny when he goes around doing like friendly expressions and stuff because he's like a nice dog because they always have these animations and cutscenes between these characters and he's got like these really severe eyes. But that just that just means you're pier you're piercing the bulwark. It's such an angular dog that the ang the really really pointy eyes kind of add well, this one, <laughs> this one wants you to feed it, and you're, and you know you're going to, even though you shouldn't. <laughs> and these are just kind of default, which is kind of the happy medium between these two extremes. Yeah, 
tears. We need to see more of these. Ooh. Like jack, big, big, tall, like jackal-y anubis -y ears. The default pointy ones. Hmm. Sort of bat wing, like bat ears sort of look. The floppy ears that, that definitely go with those pr the precious eyes. And long floppy ears. Hmm. These look a little weird looking, look, pointing straight up, and I feel like they're gonna look really weird when you run around. These kind of fit. And these are obviously like the go-to design, so they make a lot of sense. Tail options. So you have the, the 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 repeat tail. That's just repeat from Tales of Vesperia. Curled tail. Long shaggy tail. Then big bushy tail. Sort of wolfy. This kind of fits. This one, this one's just really flat. I could use it though. I don't know, I might prefer this one over that one. If this one fits the style of the dog more, this one looks weird. It's, it's such a tr like a slim dog. The idea that its tail would get like that is a little weird. Yeah, I think I'm leaning towards. Oops, I pressed B, which is where I expect A to be because that's how it do. Voice. <laughs> Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Is that a wine? Oh, I wasn't waiting long enough for it to play. More yelpy. It starts to- it defaults to low, what's normal? <laughs> like a husky noise. I wish the music would chill out right now. This is kind of mixed low. Uh, let's see if I can turn it up a little bit on my end. Help me out. So that would help. Yeah, I had it turned down for Legend of Zelda because that game's incredibly loud. But the music's still a little overpowering for this purpose. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to hear the sad dog noises. Was it type 2? Was this the one that sounded like a husky? Oh. I think I want normal type 2. Yeah. Oh, look how well animated he is. Look at him! <laughs> That's bullshit, what the fuck is that? <laughs> his eye combat dog. Oh, he's taking damage, not doing some kind of weird bite. Well enough, he doesn't seem to bite. Oh, he's great. Look at him go. Alright, I made my own dog. He's kind of like the opposite of the style of my character. <laughs> when, you look, when you look at it. There you go. I like you way more than the character I made for myself. Uh... I need to name a dog. Why didn't I have a dog named Ready? I did. 
I did when I thought you were going to be named Rapide, but you're not going to be named Rapide. Oh right, I already named my dog during the Hades playthrough. Achilles, heal. <laughs> uh, I'm not above reusing the same joke. I haven't actually named a dog Achilles yet. Oh man. Ugh. Three character creators in a row, it's a gauntlet. Like, holy crap. This is a lot to do at once. Okay, I think I turned it up a little bit too loud in the process, so try and make it a little louder. I need a remote for my computer monitor. Because that's how my volume works. But I have to go like into a menu to change the volume, it's not great. It's like via a joystick on the back of the computer monitor? This is not very helpful for me. What an angry little cat. This one looks like a bear. Or something. Ooh, wildcat mode. Oh, maybe I should match the wild aspect of my of my dog by going wildcat. So that's the main thing is your you know, let's go back to default. No, it's okay. It's a your fur patterns of the face diamond, the beam. You got stripies. You got stripes, but I already got a stripe dog. So let's have a spotted dog. So I, I did this last time. Let's go stripes. Might even go a similar pattern overall. This crucially needed to be. Yeah. See, like they, I feel like the default colors in Monster Hunter are, are really iffy, because they don't, they don't want you to have, like, striking colors. It feels like, like you have to like manually go into the contrast settings to get higher con. Ah, I just pressed B. Fuck. And that's what I wanted. Wait, yeah. Oh, we're good. Okay. You know, these are the the insides of the spots. They're a little more showy. It's just his under neck. <laughs> this giggle face, oh my god. What's the difference here? It's not super severe. This one's a, these ones are kind of sadder than these ones. Oh my god. I can't get over him having that face all the time. Pink actually works, kind of. Very pointy ears, the back ears, little kitty ears. I don't love the ears. Like I don't, I don't love any of the options besides the default one that much. Given him the squiggly bent tail before. That was really bushy. It kind of fits now. It gives, it gives him like a bobcat look a little bit. Or does a bobcat have a bob? It kind of does. It's not that short though. It's kind of in between the two. But the bushy tail kind of fits better here. In general, they're just a chunkier cat. <laughs> the cat's way chunkier than the, uh, the dog is. Ah, pressed B again. 
brighter pink eyes. I think I kind of nailed the look. Are the insides of the spots too yellow? I'm not sure. No pattern. I think this just turns off the pattern. Yeah. Shit. I just undid everything. Can I un undo everything if I press B? Nope. God damn it. God damn it. I thought it was just a chance to look at the no pattern option. I fucked myself. I think I pretty much know what I'm doing. There's the inside of the spots, okay. I uh, took you over to here. Maybe I want you to be a little more... lower contrast. fix him. I think I more or less fixed him. Yeah, okay, so we'll be warned, viewers at home, don't hit no pattern unless you want to just lose all your progress. It is not a toggle that you can just, like, take a look at and then be like, oh, what was it? Let's go back. And like, oh, there's no, there's no going back. You, uh, you have to do it all again. Oh! Cool. He defaults to a much darker color than our other guy did. It mostly works though. I might just leave it. He was wearing it the whole time I was customizing him. Saved palette. <laughs> Just make it black. You can't customize the highlights, they're just red. Right? Yeah, there's no second color. Alright. Those are interesting sounds. What? How did they make these sounds? Did they just shake a cat? Are these human sounds making cat sounds? Like, is that where they got them from? Some of them are weird. I don't know. Those are sounds. All right. Support type? Oh. You just get to pick their starting support type, I guess. So Bombardier does bombing, Gatherer does gathering, Fighter does fighting, <laughs> Assist weakens people. I always like having the healer option. I've just- I've used the healer option the most over the years. 
I can say that now because the playthrough took so long to finish that I can say over the years. <laughs> so there's my settings, I guess. There we go. Well, this was... Oh, right. Names. Names! Uh, what do I want your name to be? Do all this customization and then I've got to have a name. All right, we'll just do a, a pair name that fits with Achilles. We'll just call him Patroclus. I was tempted to call him Patroclus. <laughs> so just be happy I spared you of that pun that is suitable to the game that's full of puns. And that is how it's due. All right, let's get started. 